हेलो 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 स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक ऑन माई चैनल वी आर स्टडिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस इन विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट चैप्टर मॉसफेट एंड इट्स डिस एनालिसिस इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड चैनल लेंथ मॉडुलेशन हाउ वी डी एस ड्रेन वोल्टेज अफेक्ट the drain current id and uh, we have obtained practical vi characteristic and we have studied the difference between ideal current equation in case of saturation state and uh, due to the channel length modulation there is some change in the drain current equation there we got lambda channel length modulation parameter first of all i am going to write that equation from previous lecture it is related to finite output resistance of mosfet finite output resistance uh, denoted by r not small r not and it is of very important because r not appears in the ac equivalent circuit of mosfet and ac equivalent circuit is used to analyze or we can say uh, it is used in the small signal analysis of mosfet amplifiers so we have equation due to channel length modulation so i am going to write that equation id is equal to kn it is vgs minus vtn square into 1 plus lambda into vds let us say this is equation number 1 the discussion of finite output resistance in mosfet is totally based on this equation okay it starts with the channel length modulation i am going to draw again the vi characteristic of mosfet this time i am ex extending this uh, vds axis to the left side of zero so it is minus vds and we have id and let us draw this characteristic with somewhat positive slope okay now we'll do one thing if we extend this characteristic or it is called extrapolate extrapolation if we extend this on left side we'll get lines like this which connects this characteristic say this and this point is marked by va so it is minus va now what is minus va so it is vds it is the value of vds is minus va now what is the id when vds equal to minus va id is zero now if you substitute this so it is vds is equal to minus va here in this term only or we'll specify like this okay va put in 1 plus lambda vds so we can obtain the value of lambda so it is 1 plus lambda vds is equal to 0 so 1 plus 1 minus va into vds is equal to 0 and 1 plus sorry it is it is 1 minus lambda va so we are replacing vds by minus va so it is 1 minus lambda va so it is 1 is equal to lambda va and what is lambda so it is 1 by va so we have obtained the value of lambda now let us differentiate this equation 
differentiate this equation with respect to VDS or before that we will define finite output resistance, finite output resistance of MOSFET. So, it is denoted by small r naught, it is equal to it is dou i d by dou v d s raise to minus 1 keeping v g s constant keeping v g s constant ok. Deliberately we are writing like this. So, it is minus dou i d by dou v d s raise to minus 1 ok. Actually dou v d s divided by dou i d is the resistance, but purposely we are doing like this ok. So, later we will understand why I have written like this. Now, we have to obtain this value from this equation. This equation start with i d. So, we have to differentiate partially differentiate this equation, so that we can obtain the value and we are going to substitute that value here and eventually we will get the value of r naught finite output resistance. So, differentiate equation 1, differentiating equation 1 with respect to V d s, we can obtain. So, it is dou i d divided by dou V d s is equal to. So, so, as first step I am writing as dou by dou V d s is k n in bracket. So, it is V g s minus V t n whole square into 1 plus lambda V d s ok. This is our first step. If you differentiate this, you will get this term as it is because V d s is here. We are we have to differentiate with respect to V d s. So, I will obtain this as. So, it is k n V g s minus V t n whole square. So, it is uh, 0 differentiation of 1 is 0 it is constant and it is lambda dou V d s divided by dou V d s ok. So, this V d s V d s gets cancelled and what is remaining is lambda here. So, it will be k n V g s minus V t n square into lambda. So, we have dou i d divided by dou V d s is equal to k n V g s minus V t n square into lambda. So, we have to substitute this value in this equation. We have got dou i d by dou v d s is equal to lambda, lambda k n v g s minus v t n square ok. Let's, let us substitute this equation into this equation, equation of finite output resistance. So, it is r naught is equal to lambda k n v g s minus v t n whole square ok. Why we are taking V t n? We can take V t also, but we are discussing the case of n MOS transistor. Therefore, we are every time we are taking n here. So, let us take k n is equal to sorry i d q is equal to take i d q is equal to k n V g s minus V t n square. Why we should take I d q is equal to k n V g s minus V t n square? This is the ideal drain current when transistor is in saturation condition with a 0 slope. And what is I d q? I d q is it is quotient d c drain current, quotient DC drain current. It means 
when vgs is applied only vgs is greater than vtn okay vgs1 vgs2 is greater than vgs2 uh, vgs1 and vgs3 is greater than vgs2 okay so it is the increment in the gate voltage that increases the dc drain current there is no ac applied so this condition is called as zero input signal condition when this transistor will be having ac input at that time the notation of drain current will be like this id so lower case d so it indicates that it is the ac current but here we are analyzing the dc condition of the mos transistor so therefore it is the dc drain current and we have taken this figure kn into vgs minus vtn whole square as a dc drain current in quiescent condition when there is no input ac applied therefore it is idq so this equation will become r not is equal to lambda into idq what is the value of lambda we have we have lambda is equal to we have lambda is equal to 1 upon va so this value we have we can substitute here so it is idq divided by lambda so it is r not and it is raised to minus 1 so if we invert this you will get lambda by idq so it is lambda divided by idq therefore we had taken equation like this so it is dou id divided by dou vds raised to minus 1 actually we have to take dou vds by id but we had taken like this and we have inverted here so we have obtained this equation for finite output resistance so finite output resistance is function of lambda channel length modulation due to channel length modulation finite output resistance get affected and it is the dc drain current so on that factor the finite output resistance depend it is inversely proportional to dc drain current if current is more the resistance will be less why this r not is important we have ac equivalent circuit for mos transistor mosfet so we have we are going to study this but i want to show here so it is the vgs and so here it is the voltage controlled current source so it is gm vgs and here we show r not so here this is the r not finite output resistance it plays an important role while studying the small signal analysis of transistor amplifiers